All right, you already know what time it is. It is that time of the month. It is Lunar Tower time. And so with that, let's welcome these free gemmies into our arms. Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about Lunar Tower floors 70 through to 110, including EX. And so what I have done is I have compiled a whole bunch of guides, including like some CN guides, including some from the subreddit, including some from like our international, sorry, our global players. And so again, today, well, after today's reset, we are going to be getting Lunar Tower 71 through to 110 and what I do want to say is that from all of the information that I've seen even if you're maxed out with like five star everything and you're like over leveled it's actually still quite hard and so with that being said even though there are a lot of these comps that do say that they are auto I would definitely say keep an eye on the comp or like how it is performing and adjust as required because remember that you can retreat for free with no penalty and so if it's looking a bit bad then you should do that all right and so what we have here is chocolate Lunar Tower Guide. Again, massive shout out to Chocolate, always the man giving us the good written guides. But with this guide, I want to introduce a couple of the different mechanics. So like we've got the general use team. Yeah, but we also have like, uh, I want to show you guys these guys here. And the reason I want to show you this is because a lot of the time we're going to start actually using two teams to clear bosses. And it's just really unfortunate because it gives us a little bit less options as we climb the tower. However, guys, do remember that we do get full revives. So if we like mess up or whatever, or if we can't seem to clear up to 110 in one go then after the reset after 24 hours has elapsed we can go ahead and revive our entire team and so again i'm just warning you guys even if you are maxed out even if you're like a top one player or top 10 or whatever there is absolutely no shame in doing this over two or three or four days and so yeah i just kind of wanted to like set that expectation in case you guys are like oh man why are none of these guides working this time it's just a lot tougher than last time that's that's really it all right and so with that being said let me go through these cn guides real quick so it is essentially a whole bunch of playlists that I have compiled. So at the time of 110 release, CN's level cap was actually only 107, despite having like the Ray UE as well as the Kana and all of that. And so why this is important is because like some of the timings and some of like the stats, we might find like things easier or harder. We're going to have like four to five levels on top of them. However, they're going to have the UE and a completely busted character on top of us. And so my warning against all of these playlists, which I will of course drop into the description below it is that if you do see a ray it probably has ue and so it's probably not applicable and if you do see kana which is the red head over here well, we can't use that comp because it straight up just doesn't exist for us all right and so with that being said that's pretty much the disclaimer for all of these chinese comps uh sometimes we're going to find some of those kana comps however most of the time it's going to be quite a similar like composition as the other ones from 1 through to 70. so i'm talking like a tank you got aoe heals like so like your akinos so compositions that look kind of like this, right? You got your Akino, AoE heal, you got your Nozomi at some point. Nozomi, Nozomi up here, Nozomi for the AoE heal. You notice that everyone will rather four of the five units are frontal units. And then you can most definitely tech in your Akino instead of the Summer Koko for more AoE heal. Again, for the most part, this is going to work. However, let me just wrap up these CN teams before we go on. So guys, just a couple of key callouts. We do have a couple of like standard of the physical teams and like some of the magical teams. Just try to remember to not sacrifice any teams until you get to like the boss 80 or boss 90 or boss 100 floors and so for example i've clicked this 81 over here and you'll see that we are going to actually sack off this team to get rid of a bunch of the ads and then we'll be left with the boss and then the boss is going to wreck us and and then right after that we will send in our second team so as you can see everyone looks like they are dying everyone is pretty much going to die and we're going to lose it and we are going to run this team into it and so hopefully you guys are familiar with this strategy of like running in some like crappier comps but yeah i think my biggest advice for these cn guides is go through the playlist and see if you can do it like for me personally i saw shizuru and i was like wait i don't have shizuru and so if you do start with any of these guides i would recommend that you follow through with them and the reason is because if you sacrifice like a certain team in like floor 80 from these videos you might not have those units for like floor 81 or 90 or whatever in the next videos all right so with that being said i'm pretty sure that covers off most of the cn playlists and just one more point i just noticed that Ilya was here and just it just reminds me that my Ilya is not built and so do not forget that you can indeed borrow a character in my opinion for you guys who don't have tomo tomo is probably 
probably one of the best borrows. But of course, you just need to borrow who you don't have. All right, guys, that is for real. We're for real done with the CN comp. So let's move on to the next one, which is the one by fan subbing. So here we've got fan subbing's guide. However, we also do have the link to his site over here. And so this is a really great look at all of the different bosses, as well as some of like the different teams that we can definitely use. And so generally speaking, you'll see that the philosophy is the same, right? So he's saying uh, it is technically possible to do it in a single hit with the above team, but you're better off going for a two party clear. Again, if you guys opt to use fan subbing's approach, then follow it to the T or else you're going to be like missing a few units. Otherwise, it's completely okay to kind of like sack it off and get as far as you can again in one day and then just revive for the next day. However, the nice thing about fan subbing is that fan subbing has provided all of the boss details. And so this is actually really nice because it kind of tells you like what kind of tank you should use. And what I mean by that is that, for example, the 90th floor, you have Shadow Ilya. And guys, we already know that Ilya is going to be such a headache, especially for our tanks up the front. And so what that means is that we should 100% be running a cooker. And if you don't have a cooker available, it's probably going to be a Jun. On top of that, Ilya attacks like the front to the midline. So you're probably not going to be using like some of your Makotos or Karis and stuff like that. And so therefore, if I scroll down to the 90th floor, let's see what he's got. And that is essentially exactly what I'm talking about. You've got nobody in the front line. You've got a little bit of heals and you've got the cooker in the front taking that Ilya. And so if you guys do want to be a little bit innovative, a little bit creative, you guys can have a look at the different bosses or like the different units that appear on the boss floors and then plan accordingly because like we, we don't really get much content in Princess Connect, you know what I'm saying? All right, and so that is fan subbing's guide. He's put a lot of effort into this. Massive shout out to fan subbing, one of the other content creators still in the scene. And so again, this bad boy is going to be in the description. He also does leave a bunch of notes over here, but essentially this is stuff that we've talked about already and it should be no surprise to you. And so with this, I'm going to bring you guys to the last stop of the Lunar Tower Guides train. And that is Chocolate's Lunar Tower Guide, which we already kind of covered already. And so you guys may remember this from the last video. This is Chocolate's Lunar Tower Guide. He has the 1 to 70 over here. And then on top of that, he is currently working on, I don't believe it's actually finished, but he is doing a 70... Oh, wow. Okay. It's actually done. Wow. Uh, he worked really, really freaking fast. But essentially he has done the same thing from floor 71 through to 110 for us. I don't think there is overly much to say about this one. This is probably like one of the most straightforward guides there could be. The only thing that I can really say about this is remember guys, if you start with this one, you should try finish or follow through with the rest of the guide. Because again, for example, for floor 80, we're going to be sacrificing this team. If some of the other people, the other guide makers actually use units from like this team, then you are going to be a little bit stuffed. But like, again, it should be okay with the revives. And so that essentially wraps up the Lunar Tower for this month. Hopefully it will be enough to get you guys through it. So again, our three options are fan subbing's guides. We've got chocolates guides, and we've got a whole bunch of CN playlists. And so with that being said, one last shout out to chocolate, to fan subbing and all the CN bros for all of the hard work that they give to actually put together these guides for us. And so with that, I want to leave you guys with a secret message. And that is Akino, because it is finally time for Akino to shine. Everyone just like took a big dump on Akino. But finally, Luna Tower, AoE healing, there is nobody better than Akino. And so if you guys could drop that secret message, Akino, down into the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But aside from that, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. And if you would like to support the channel, we do have like a membership thing and some affiliate links down in the description below. But otherwise, as old mate Akino once said to me, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.